On the shores of Walport, near the mouth of the Alsea River, the infant humpback whale came to rest, 20 feet long and a rare sight on the Oregon coast. We think this is an animal that uh, has gotten separated from its mother. And sometimes that can be because she's low on calories and needs to cut her losses, so to speak, and get back to, to finding food. Bruce Mate is director of Oregon State's Marine Mammal Institute. He says a team of students spent the day trying to keep the baby humpback cool. Video from this afternoon's high tide shows the whale trying to make it back out to sea. The animal did get off the point it was on and into a channel, started going out to sea and got into breakers and turned around and got in trouble again. So it's back on the beach. Its next shot, high tide around 1 a.m. So there's some hope of that. Mate believes this whale came from Central America or Mexico and was on its way to forage for food. He says it's common for young whales to die. Only half make it to a year old. The rarity is seeing them stranded on shore and they can't do much to help it. People just automatically say, well, I'll come down and help you push it off. But uh, this animal weighs over a ton and flopping around and one karate chop from a pectoral flipper or hit from a fluke, uh, it could very in seriously injure somebody. Oregon's shores are public, but the state's parks department is asking people to steer clear of the whale to relieve its stress and give biologists room. The challenge really for us is to make sure that they're able to do their work. Uh, to provide some care for the animal while it's on the ocean shore and hopefully provide it an opportunity to get back out to sea. If the whale dies, crews will likely bury the carcass on shore. Either way, Mate says his team will take a DNA sample. That will tell them where the whale came from and hopefully where it ends up. If the animal's ever re-encountered and sampled again, we'll know that it survived. Mm, let's hope. Biologists say 90% of the whales we see from the Oregon coast are gray whales, and typically they only see a humpback whale every three or four years, so this is definitely rare. We plan to stay in touch with OSU biologists overnight on their operation, and we'll have the very latest for you tomorrow morning on KGW News at sunrise. Back to you.